Yeah, thank you for the question. So I want to share two general thoughts about this before I go into a more practical explanation. So firstly, um, the idea of accelerating progress in the research of neurological disorders through the exchange of findings, methodologies, or tools really stands out for me. And secondly, the likelihood of developing new effective treatments, therapies, or assisting technologies could increase and therefore could also lead to an enhancement of the quality of life, not only for the individuals, but also for their families, creating a substantial positive impact for the society. So if we get a bit more practical, we in the LEAFY project, we have not yet incorporated environmental data like air pollution, which is a potentially modifiable risk factor yet, but through collaboration, we could share the methods for collecting and pre-processing this data and to avoid common pitfalls. Additionally, we could also think about combining those data sets to uncover patterns or correlations which are not apparent in the individual projects alone. But in order to do this, we also need to have a common or establishment of common standards and protocols for the data exchange, the collection, storage, and analysis, because interoperability is the key in order to get a whole overview and not to create isolated systems. So in summary, I think through collaboration, we could advance not only in the scientific understanding of neurological disorders, but also um, bring the side, benefit the society as a whole by collaboration.